at NMSU, students from all over the campus enjoy the great outdoors. Fishing has become a serious hobby for both students and city residents. Activities such as teaching your kids how to fish, having lunch, or just sit to relax has become popular here at NMSU's Alumni Pond. Upon buying a fishing license, fishers can fish for smallmouth bass, catfish, and rainbow trout. Be careful, fishing without a license can dish out many fines. Warm watery fishery tech, Jacob Miller, has the details on fishing fines. It's not a crazy fine, it's $125 I believe it is, but if you are an in-state resident it's only $40, $45 to get all that you need, so it is three times what you would spend if you just go to the office or Walmart or online and purchase it at the beginning of the year, so no, we haven't heard of any crazy fine amounts. Alumni Pond has been recently stocked and many have come to see what they can catch. Fishery technician Jacob Miller has all the details. We're doing a creel survey as I mentioned before, so previously when we stocked it was mainly on the size of the pond, but now we're trying to go to the different areas and see the angler use and try to see how, many, how much is actually being used and adjust our stocking rate based on that to try and make people happy. Although Jacob Miller says that it is beneficial to stock a lonely pond. The fish grow to an average of 9 to 14 inches, which can provide a good meal. Stocking the pond with lots of fish is a good food source for local fishers. In the wintertime, Alumni Pond is stocked once every two weeks. Yeah, so the three biologists I work with are the walleye, the bass, largemouth and smallmouth, and spotted, and then the catfish biologists. So that's the three main ones we focus on in our studies, but if we need help with the Rio Grande cutthroat trout or the Gila trout or rainbow trout stocking, we go along to help. Alumni Pond is home to many fish and also ducks. Groundskeeper workers respect their home by keeping the pond and landscape clean and free of trash. People who fish also use the catch and release rule, meaning upon catching a fish, the fisher sets it free again. The pond provides what ducks and fish need to survive. We come in, like I said, on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays and pick up trash around here. We um, do the leaves. Uh, we try to make this pond look presentable and pleasant for people to come and, and have a good time, a nice time. Alumni Pond has become a place known to Las Cruces and its residents. Many know what it's like to enjoy what the pond has to offer. Fishing, a time to relax, or just eating lunch. All these things are great to do when you are at NMSU's Alumni Pond.